Okay, Loreza. So, what's CAPS for you? Well, CAPS is the use of data networks by citizens to create engagement and social change. So you could think of it in terms of Internet of Things, but the important aspect is the collective intelligence or awareness that contributes to social innovation, possibly even to sustainability, definitely social innovation. And the time is right for CAPS. We have now doubled the budget that we had in the first call, and it's a question of spreading the word about what is possible so that we can all participate collectively and so in this call you are doing a lot of info days all over Europe, right? This well, was a how come? Why is that? Is because it, we need new. to practice, yes, we need to practice what we preach about decentralized networks and we found that otherwise the main cities tend to get the main participants. So we're very eager to have Eastern European, Portugal, we want core countries but also periphery regions to be as involved mm -hmm. together. So that's very active. Uh, we want to be in all the small nations, small countries, periphery regions. And also INCO, we think in, that CAPS is one of those programs that is really as good for third world countries as for advanced developed countries. Because it's the reuse of resources, shared production, and above all, understanding the value. The value of things that are non-monetary, that involve use of time to improve living conditions. Once we know what the value is, then these things will be much more appreciated at the community level. So, as somebody said when I was getting my degree, all politics is local. So let's take these engaged local citizens and put them on a bigger EU map. Okay. And uh, this is Fab Labs. Can you tell us something about this? this wonderful place we're well, meeting. Th this was actually the first Fab Lab in Europe ah. seven years ago. So it's Fab Lab of Barcelona where we are hosting this info day here in Barcelona. And it's big enough. I see there's a lot of groups discussing proposals right now. Yeah. Huh? They seem very, very taken. And yeah, there is, all... there is a lot of passion, right? Uh, I've seen that. The number of questions, I've never had so many questions. I think almost everybody asked a question. So it was highly participatory as an event. And uh, what's your feeling about the current CAPS projects? Peer to peer value is one of them. It's, uh, and uh, how do you think that they are engaging and moving forward? So we just printed a report which has an independent observer looking at what was the strategy and what was the impact. Mm -hmm. So I distributed some of the early copies, which we are not yet printing. It will take some time to print it. But I think the results are extremely promising. Uh, it's just a question of gathering, gathering momentum. But some of the projects had uh, excellent. Uh, and and in within a year, you will probably start hearing about their results. Mm -hmm. So this is just an early form of uh, analysis but word spreads and then once you know that your results are being used elsewhere then it gives you a sense of, uh, of doing something useful yeah. I mean th there is there is a sense that this is it, is it is quite weird that the European Commission is actually funding this type of very bottom-up projects very driven by cooperatives or by hackers it's, it's it's very interesting how this got into the European Hackers Commission. was very difficult word to get into. <laughs> <laughs> Until people were reminded that these are the good guys. Yeah, yeah. It's the good, you know, it's the people who hack the system in order to do a good thing, right? So it's really, uh, yeah, but you're right, it's a very alternative. But the time is right because during the crisis, things that were taken for granted as coming top down are no longer there. So with a lack of funding, people have had to uh, use their own resources to contribute to something. And so I think the time was, uh, was right for this initiative. Mm -hmm. The fact that we doubled the budget means that some people believe in it, yeah. not just ourselves in the project. <laughs> so it's very good. To do, do you think that the crisis is uh, motivating people to, to yes, get definitely. to see more uh, bottom-up solutions than bottom-up solutions? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, Greece uh, has learned how to use the internet 
to develop its own, you know, you see communities uh, like Sweden, the black fiber, uh, communities who are using shovels to put in broadband links and to be, no, I think the crisis has said we cannot sustain this level of wasting resources and spending as if we were, you know, the richest on earth. So I think it's really changed for the better. Now it's been very hard and, and the commission is there of course to help to growth and jobs is, and competitiveness. So we are looking to research, to find collaborative solutions that work. Have you studied if there are more um, proposals for bottom-up solutions from Southern Europe or the, or the yes. countries that are, are suffering more the crisis? There are. Yes. Oh, there are. Oh, yeah. okay, that's really interesting. Yeah. There are. Now, that doesn't mean that they're successful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, so, that mean, but at least but they're there are, gambling with ideas, right? Yes. No, I think, uh, you know, I must say, I feel privileged that I've been able to study, get a PhD. A lot of the projects are funding PhDs and they learn a lot through these three years what it means to operate across you know, different countries and languages. And diversity is actually our strength. So the opportunities that EU projects provide for young people, for retired people, for professors to share ideas is something that, uh, that is really worthwhile. And you, you will hear this throughout. They're all extremely enthusiastic. There's no fraud, there is no, I haven't seen any, uh, you know, wasted, uh, because it's not just money, it's time, of course. So you want to be doing research that's state of the art. And when only one out of 10 proposals gets funding, chances are it's really quite a high quality uh, proposal. So thanks for hosting a, an info day. I hope everybody got a chance to ask, express their ideas, and who knows, we look forward to a good evaluation as well. <laughs> Thanks to you for coming. I would, I, anytime.